for the championship compound women's division from the state of California, this is Paige Pierce. And her opponent for the champion, representing Denmark, Tanya Galatine. And Bruce, once again, a sudden death shoot off will determine the ranking as these two great world-class competitors get ready to duke it out here in the arena. Greg White, Mike Schlusser, bringing you the action from the booth. And Mike, what can be said about these two archers? Incredible. Their resumes are long and distinguished, <laughs> and they have been in this situation many times. Yeah, they're like two very capable women shooting their bow. Um, it's going to be a really exciting match to see. You will have one. And keep in mind, there were 25 in the open category that shot perfect 900s, and these two. So we had 27 total here in Vegas, and we just continue to see the amount of women that are impressive that are throwing up 300s. Now, it, it's, a, it's a big task to shoot a 900, do 300 three days in a row, but we saw a tremendous amount just shoot a 300 in each of the days, and the level is going so high. All right, tell us a little bit about what the shootout's going to be like. What What is our scoring looking like as the targets are hung 20 yards down range from where the archers stand? Yeah, so the first round of scoring will be on the, the bigger 10, the Vegas 10. Uh, from the second round on, it will only be shot, uh, the inner 10 is a 10. So down on, it's going to be more difficult for those team 30s. Great stories with these two archers as Paige Pierce stays with her longtime sponsor, Bowtech but with a brand new bow, a bow that was launched just a few months ago. As for Tanya Galantine, she lines up with a dart bow in a big switch during the off season, and both of these archers have adapted to their new equipment in a hurry. It's only these two archers who are familiar with themselves as Paige, always with a good laugh, lighting up the mood. So first, we're gonna get a practice end. What are we doing for the practice end, why? Uh, just signing in, getting used to the, the arena, getting a feel for the audience. And looking at Paige Pierce now, she has a rather unique way of shooting. Now her style, the way she pulls the bow back and holds it and everything, looks pretty standard. But when you look at her setup and the way she looks through the, the peep and it, she uses an eight power lens in her scope. Yeah. What is, what's that gonna do for you? Uh, for lo some people wanna yeah, of course, you can see it clearly. Um, she has probably a bit of a shorter draw length than uh, some guys. So for her, an eight power lens is probably the same as a seven or six for somebody that has a longer draw length. And that's really determined by where the peep, which is in her yeah. string, the little circle in her string, uh, gets close to her eye, like the distance between the peep and the actual yeah, sight itself? Yeah, this is more like between your eye and the, and the sight itself. Hmm. Interesting. Here's a good look at the setup of Tanya Galantine. You see Paige Pierce choosing to use a fiber, a lit fiber pin in her sight. Yeah, she's becoming a 3D shooter with the light. <laughs> certainly is. You know what's interesting is that uh, how often do you sit at home, shoot practice rounds, even practice rounds when you're getting ready to shoot in the arena and have people applaud for it? <laughs> Never, like it's once a year, twice maybe. Like you have Neem that's always like really crowded and really fun to shoot. And, um, and this one as well. Like here, like the arena is full. Just How do you tune out just knowing that all these people are around watching you? How do you mentally prepare for something like this? Or how do you do it when you're standing there like these two? Uh, just focus on yourself and, and your target. It's the only thing you can do. And just make good shots and let the rest will fade away. All right, so it looks like we're going to go back and forth. I believe which means that they'll right. be one to shoot turn, first. When we get down to a small number of archers, and you'll see the next round with all the boys Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. When we get down to a smaller amount of archers, and this will happen in our Vegas shoot, the open category a little bit later on, we're going to alternate shooters. 
So Paige Pierce had the higher X count. So she's going to choose whether she shoots first or second. And Paige has chosen to shoot first. When you're in this situation, Mike Schlusser, what do you like to do? Would you rather send the first arrow first and put the pressure on the opponent? Uh, I think so. Like I think the majority of people like to start shooting so that they can put the pressure on the opponent. Some people also like to know what to, they need to shoot to Ten. beat or to tie the score. Ten. That was a good looking shot by Tanya. Ten. Ten. So for this first round, it's okay that Tanya caught the 10 ring. As long as she's contacting it. If this goes to a second end, that's when we're going to go to the inner, uh, the inner circle. One thing you know about Paige, when she knows on the release that it's going in the middle, she'll let you know. Yeah. Ten. Time score under normal. Normal Vegas is scored. All right, so the archers will walk down, and there is a yellow line that they'll stop, allowing, uh, well, maybe not. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, this is what, see, this is the thing that, that's kind of funny. This is what we've been doing for the entire weekend, right? You normally, you just tell us about how when you're shooting around is 30s, 30s, crawl, call the cross. You just go, straight, like, get your arrows, Pierce, score them. Uh, but officially, the, when there's like a shootout like this, you need to wait until like, the judges can uh, judge the arrow value. So like you need to wait behind the line so they can do the job. Yeah, it is always a little different. Yeah. Even when we had the Indoor Archery World Championships last night, you know, you just stand there and then you shoot and they have actually people that pull your arrows or bring them to you. That's kind of nice. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> nice. It's like you're just standing there the waiting for your arrows to come back. On to inner 10 scoring. Both of these All right, so as we move to inner 10 scoring, the judges have requested that game. the archers change their target face. Now, Mike, with these targets specifically, I found shooting on these that sometimes you can find a hole that's been kind of worn out that, that goes in your favor, don't you? Have yeah. you found that? Yeah, for sure. Like, if you have a good round, like, your arrows will pull into that hole and it makes it easier to keep making good shots. So if you once have, like, a really good hole, you try to keep it like that. So you would prefer, in this situation, to be the one hanging your own target because you want to place, place it in the spot you want? Spot, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right, just joining us, we're at the Vegas Shoot 2023. We're shooting off for a win in the championship compound women's category. Two heavyweights getting after it. They're shooting 20 yards from where they're standing to the target face, a 40 centimeter target face. And the X ring, which is the smallest ring in the middle, is the 10. Anything outside of that is going to be counted as a nine. If it's in the red ring, it's eight, seven, six. At this level, we don't even talk about red rings, do we? Definitely not. No. Could we be three arrows away from determining the champion? Page to 10. Solid 10 for Page. Tanya, looks like Tanya answers. Now, Mike, as we look at these targets, it looks like Paige and Tanya actually Tanya. have to shoot these targets in a different order. Paige starts lower left, then goes middle. Tanya starts middle, and then she's going to go down. Is there a preference? Is, is there a reason for any of that? Um, I think it's just personal preference. Tanya. I like to shoot left bottom, Tanya. top, Tanya. right bottom. Just because the numbers, like I, first time I came here to Vegas, I saw the numbers, so I assumed we need to shoot it like that, so yeah. I learned it like that. But I think like these ladies shoot it often, so they get their like own rit uh, ritual. Yeah, they are numbered. You can see it in the, in the bottom left-hand corner, so. Okay, this could be it. 
And it looks like Tanya Galantine was able to shoot that 10. And just like that, the Dart and Archer will take victory. What a weekend. Both women shooting perfect 900s. And I believe that's the first arrow that Paige shot in competition all weekend. That's not a 10. Paige, she knew it. And the grimace, ah. She's been here before and she'll be here again. Con confirmed that Paige Pierce with the 29 will take second place in the compound female category. And she'll earn herself $5,000 from the NFAA. But it's Tanya Galantine who walks away with the big victory.